Radford, who has the ball now, is a terrific shooter as well. Streaky shooter as well. He drives Quinterly to the hole. Paniaco, who averages about two blocks a game, came over and picked up his first. And the Aggies. The shot block sends a message and sets the rules. Not today. And Marble. Miller, wide open three. No good. Paniaco battles. And it is Miller. The dish, the flush. And watch Brandon Miller, his passing ability, Ravi. And there were no maroon and white shirts there on the offensive glass. Burnley tries again. That's good. And Alabama feeling a lot better about their shooting now than at this point yesterday. So here's the Muscle Shoals kid who was a transfer in here lying on his bed when he got the call. Said, you want to come home? He said, yes. I get to play with a kid like Brandon Miller. I'm all in. Yeah, if you can't guard the ball, you can't guard the threes of Alabama either. He'll be the first college player taken. They're far away from the basket. Radford's got four on the shot clock. He drives. Boy, Paniaco came over. What a shot. Boots Radford. The late clock plays for the Aggies. The guards back it up so they can come right back downhill to get some momentum. Radford's so good at it. Now you're playing chase from behind, and you've got to get that thing up. Things fall their way. Not looking good for him. And man, what a year it has been in this league. Quinterly steps into a three, and it's a little different story. This is all Quinterly. Dance with it, dance with it, sidestep three. Dexter Dennis with his feet inside the three-point line is a mistake. Quinterly picked off Hayden Hefner into the game. And the run out here, Coleman, wow. out there by Gurley. And the drop coverage on one end just eats you up when the ball comes away. And his guy has to get involved as a screener on the ball because Betty is not going to come out. Mm, there's a challenge right at Betty Ocko, and Marble missed it, and he gets fouled. And this is what he can do to you. Change the game as a seven-footer. Uh, not especially. I did just chat with him as he exited the locker room. He mentioned two very specific things. First of all, turnover rate way too high. He said, look, when we... In and out, and again, the struggles continue for four in Maroon. Wade Taylor, alley -oop. Oh, he missed the layup. Pediaco, though, follows it and puts it right back up. Now, the Alabama was bringing two former McDonald's All-Americans off the bench. That's how deep they are. Miller, three. Air ball. Wow, there's Cloudy, and that's how to... Get into the stat sheet. That's an offensive glass I'm talking about. I mean, well, again, and again, if you're at the Aggies and you don't hit first when the ball's on the glass, that high offensive rebound percentage is going to grow in this game. Didn't play well yesterday shooting the ball, but still had seven assists. Just impacts winning. Nicknamed him March JQ for his performance in the 21 tournament. Dennis three. That's good. Got numbers. Go, go. Quinterly. He's got 18 now. And they get it to 10 with 10 minutes to go. Stay in the ball game. Bradley. That ball was blocked by Marble, who came out of nowhere to do that. And they got a chance, Jimmy, to get it down to 10 if they can find a three. And they're doing it again. Taylor on the bench next to his assistant coaches. Bradford right into Betty Ocko. He gets it to go. Yeah, right into the drop coverage. Bradford, he sees Betty Ocko sitting there waiting on him. Not a surprise, but goes right into his chest. Really well done by Radford. Plenty of time left in half number two. When we try to strip through, and that failed. Here comes Marble. Throws it down. They're within nine. He picked up his third foul. Aggies turning up the heat defensively. Yeah, offensively, too. Seven field goals. There's another block. Buzz Williams spoke on that yesterday. He said, we don't have the best players. We've never had the best players. We don't have the best coaches. I'm for sure. And maybe make a basket or two with Marble on the bench. There's Miller. He's open. That looked a lot better right in front of him. Already in this league, just national champions after national champions. Arkansas with an in indoor track. Big three, Dennis. And here we go. Back to nine is Noah Gurley. Where's your get back defense if you're the Aggies? Wasn't there. And Miller buried a three. He's got 18 just like yesterday. Watch as they con conversion down the field or down the floor. Brandon Miller, they run to that slot, that 45 degree slot. Just like breathing for them. It's so easy. Quick double on Taylor. Garcia dumps it off and that paid off. Washington can jump through the roof here and he flushed it. 
You might need a ball screen to help you, but you're going to have to get into this game offensively in there. Oh, there it is. He get his head on the floor, though, after the foul. To get Radford going downhill. And that step-up ball screen guard to guard gets Radford all the way to the paint, takes a knee to the back of the head. You need your five best dudes on the floor down 61 to 48. Miller, too easy. Back-to-back mm, -to -back three buckets for Alabama. And Marble and Taylor stay on the bench for AM. The finger roll from Quinterly, and what a game he has had. Good slip. Bounty workout. What a pass by Miller. Patient by Brandon Miller to wait for the slip. Bam, there it is. Betty Ocko pushed out of there. 12 of the 23 field goals have come from three. Quinterly, the dump down. Betty Ocko lays it up and in. But to your point, Texas a and so good, Ravi. They come into today top 35 in both offense and defense. They just ran into... Watch it. Oh, man! There's an exclamation point from Miller. Did this. <laughs> Usually spring means football in Alabama. Times have changed. It's Miller time now for the Tide. He's going to impact his team next year in a mighty big way as a rookie. Yeah, in the NBA, but before that, a date with the number one line in the NCAA tournament for Alabama. So Alabama beat Mississippi State, they beat Missouri, and now they're going to take care of Texas A&M and get back into the champion circle out of the SEC tournament. They will be a real threat to cut down the nets in Houston. They're going to cut them down here. They are cutting them down here. The SEC championship is Alabama's. They blow out Texas A&M. The final score, 82-63. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.